Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to Control Central's complimentary webinar presented uh, by ACI. Uh, they will be introducing their brand new differential low pressure DLP sensor today. I'm Peter Fan, your moderator and webinar organizer. So let's get started. Today's presenter is uh, Maya Hosmer. She is a sales engineer from uh, Automation Controls Components Inc. in Middleton, Wisconsin. She's been with uh, ACI for over five years and is considered the uh, pressure sensor product line specialist. She's here today to introduce you to the latest pressure sensor from ACI. So let's welcome Maya. And uh, please take it away, Maya. Thank you, Peter. Um, I'd like to take a minute just to thank everybody for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us this afternoon. And as Peter mentioned, I'm going to be introducing you all to a brand new, uh, highly anticipated pressure transducer that we are coming out with here very shortly called the DLP. Our engineers uh, took feedback from our customers and worked long and hard to design a product that offers a combination of features, performance, ease of installation, and value that is unparalleled in the market right now. So let's take a closer look at the product. The DLP is meant to be used on all of your dry air and inert gas applications. Things like duct static, building static, clean rooms, laboratories, etc. It is a field selectable pressure transducer, so you do get field selectable ranges and field selectable outputs. Every DLP will include four unidirectional and four bidirectional pressure ranges. Our lowest capability is a tenth of an inch of water column, and the highest is 40 inches of water column. And I will get into that pressure breakdown in just a little bit here. The output choices in every unit are 0 to 5 VDC, 0 to 10 VDC, and 4 to 20 milliamps. The device is capable of accepting either AC or DC power for the utmost in versatility. And the standard DLP guarantees an accuracy of plus or minus a half percent of full-scale output, which is one of the best on the market right now. It has a very fast response time. A zero function feature, which um, we'll get into a little bit more. It uh, does come with optional NIST certification, if that's something that you need on your application. Is CE marked, ROS, WE, and REACH compliant. It comes with ACI's standard five-year warranty. And we worked very hard to be able to provide you all of the options that you might like in each product with uh, fewer SKUs being required for ordering. The DLP has a unique combination of physical features and options to ensure that you get exactly what you want on your application and also to ensure that you get a fast and easy installation process. It does come housed in a rugged polycarbonate enclosure. And it does feature a large hinged latching cover for easy internal accessibility to do all of your setup. Uh, internal selections are done via a bank of dip switches, which allow you to choose unidirectional or bidirectional pressure ranges. Uh, you can choose your specific pressure range choose your output signal, choose your units of measure, and the choices would be in either inches of water column or in pascals. And uh, after you get all of that setup done, you close the cover, it securely latches on the side here, and if you're nervous about anyone being able to get inside and mess around with it after you've done that setup, you'll see that right down here there is a locking tab which fits a zip tie perfectly, so you can secure it closed to keep people out of it after you've done your installation. Uh, it does have integral mounting feet. 
If you're doing a panel mount installation, one of the options that you can choose to get would be a spring-loaded DIN rail clip. You can get it with or without an integrated pitot tube, and you can get it with or without a nice large LCD display. And internally, in addition to the dip switches for your setup, there are color-coded spring-loaded terminal blocks for all of your electrical connections. So this is essentially a toolless installation process. It should be very fast and very easy. There are two versions of the DLP. The standard DLP, which comes with an accuracy rating of the plus or minus half percent of full scale output. And then we do also have a high accuracy version available if you're involved with applications such as clean rooms or laboratories. Uh, that customized high accuracy version gets you plus or minus a quarter percent of full scale output. Here's the ordering chart for the standard version of the DLP. And you can see here um, what I was talking about a little earlier as far as the pressure range breakdown. There are essentially three pressure range categories available, a low pressure, mid pressure, and high pressure. And the low pressure features ranges from a tenth of an inch of water column up to one inches. And then the bidirectional ranges off of those, like plus or minus a tenth, plus or minus 0.2, etc. Your mid pressure version gets you ranges of 0 to 1 inch up to 0 to 10 inches and the bidirectional ranges off of those. And the high pressure version will get you 0 to 10 inch, 0 to 10 inches up to 0 to 40 inches and then the bidirectional ranges off of those. And over here on the right hand side you can see where you can choose the options that you'd like to have, whether it be the LCD display, the integrated pitot tube, or the spring-loaded DIN rail clip. Another nice thing about ordering the DLP is that you can order it either via the model number or the item number. Both numbers will get you the exact same product and both of them are going to show up on the product label. Another nice thing about our uh, new product labels is that they are going to include QR codes. So if you have the ability to scan that QR code in the field, it will take you right to your installation and wiring instruction, just in case you might have misplaced the paperwork that's going to come with the unit. Here's the customized ordering grid, or the ordering grid, pardon me, for the customized version. And again, this is going to be the higher accuracy, plus or minus quarter percent. Uh, also, if you would be involved in a situation where you would require a NIST certificate, then you'd want to look at this custom version. And we will ask that you tell us exactly the pressure range that you would like it scaled for, the output signal that you'd like it to have, uh, if you need NIST, if you want the three-point or the five-point, and what other features you might like, the display, the pitot tube, et cetera, because we are going to build and calibrate the unit at our factory exactly for those specifications so that we're ensuring that you get that plus or minus quarter percent accuracy, which is going to give you the tightest control in your critical applications. So some of you might be asking, why is our standard accuracy plus or minus a half percent of full scale? Maybe you typically only run into specs that call for plus or minus one percent. And you might be thinking, could I get the DLP as a one percent version? And if so, would it be less expensive? And uh, the short answer to all those questions is no. And the reason behind that is um, when we were designing the DLP and purchasing and building the custom calibration equipment and going through all of our custom cal processes, it was found that they are coming off the line at a half a percent. And we are not upcharging for that at all. 
Uh, this, this device is really meant to be just the very best combination of features, performance, and installation. And if you're curious about it, I would encourage you to contact Control Central and uh, ask questions and, and ask them for a quote. So because we have taken the very best features of a couple of our existing lines, the LP2 and the DP2, and added even more features uh, and melded it all into the DLP, we are going to be discontinuing the LP2 and the DP2, and that will be effective June 1st. Uh, if anyone has experience with the LP2 and the DP2, um, this shouldn't hopefully ruffle too many feathers. Physically or size-wise, the DLP is similar to the LP2, and it is smaller than the DP2. Performance-wise and features-wise, it's superior to both of them. And again, price point uh, should be exceptionally comparable. So after that happens, our airside pressure line is going to look like this. You'll have the DLP and the MLP. And which you choose to use will be really just determined by what features you want and what your application calls for. Uh, there will be instances where you will have to use the DLP, and that would be situations where you need to have an LCD display, or you need to have an integrated pitot tube, or you need to have field selectability, and also if you need better than plus or minus 1% accuracy. But in situations where maybe you have a job spec in front of you and you know exactly the pressure range and the output signal that you want and 1% accuracy is good enough, you don't need any additional bells and whistles and you want something in a small package that's economical, then maybe the MLP will do the trick. But both units for what they are are a, an excellent combination of features and very competitively priced. And as always, ACI strives to design and manufacture the highest quality product possible. And we strive to offer you the best customer service and the best technical support in the industry. We have very fast lead times. Our goal is to stock the standard DLP on the shelf so that we can turn them around very fast. And if you need that high accuracy version, uh, we hope to get those built and shipped within about three to four business days, dependent on the quantity that you need. So still very fast lead time. We are an ISO 9001 certified company. And we did design the DLP and we'll be building the DLP at our headquarters in Middleton, Wisconsin. So it is made in the USA. The availability or the official go date for the DLP is March 31st. That is when we will put orders into the system and we will begin shipping shortly thereafter. Uh, and if uh, anyone is interested in having us host a, a, a webinar for you, either internally to train your salespeople or for, or for other reasons, um, let us know. We'd be happy to do that. So I want to thank you all for your time today. Again, my name is Maya Holzmer. Uh, here's my contact information. If there are any applications or anything that you'd like to discuss in, in more detail than maybe what you feel we have time for today. Otherwise, if you have questions, please enter them into the box that Peter discussed at the beginning, and we'll do our best to get those answered for you. Thank you. OK, please uh, send us any question to, uh, to Maya. So how, how long has this product been, uh, been out, Maya? Well, it is officially going to be released on March 31st, so okay. Friday next week is the go date where we will put POs into our production system and start shipping product out the door. So it is a brand new product. Okay. And we, do, we have a few OEMs that have been testing it. Um, 
So it's it's been out at some beta test sites. Hmm. Okay, it looks like uh, you see any question on your side, Maya? Not yet. Maybe I covered everything. I think you did. <laughs> All right, um, I guess if there's no question, I, I'd like to thank you, Maya, and uh, ACI team over there for putting on a great webinar. Um, just to our audience, uh, shortly uh, after the webinar, you will be receiving a survey asking for feedback on 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 this event. Um, you know, your insights will shape future events such as this, and also uh, we'll be sending you um, this recording uh, and the uh, the PowerPoint presentations as well. So, on behalf of uh, Control Central and ACI, thank you for joining us today. We hope the, you found the information valuable in improving your businesses.